Mr. Peterson, how are you doing? This is Seth Avnan, this is from Not Your Bookstore Radio. Um, you are live on the air. Uh, thank you for uh, taking our call and uh, being so nice as to uh, share a little bit of uh, time with us. Um, with me tonight is uh, my co-host, George Jimenez. I'm going to let him start the interview. Um, George, if you please, go ahead. Hi, good evening, Mr. Peterson. Um, we just wanted to, you know, kind of bring you on the show and, and uh, see if you can give us an update on, on Paul Williams. There's there's a lot of fans, you know, both of Hispanic descent uh, and American that, that love Paul Williams and they're very concerned with him. And, and we just wanted to see if you can give us an update. How's he doing? How's he, you know, his spirit? Um, anything you want to share with us? Well, Paul is doing excellent. His recovery is very good. He um, had surgery on Friday, and um, after the surgery, um, uh, where the spinal cord had been been, been crushed, uh, it was reconstructed because there was some, some parts of that spinal cord that wasn't separated. So that that wasn't separated was that that was providing him with upper body movement. So they had to stabilize that that area. They didn't want no further damage down there. So that um he could be able to to um continue with upper body movement. But from the waist down, there's still no, no, no movement, and that's that's basically it. Um, we know that that Paul Williams is a fighter. I mean, this, his spirit is uh, of a warrior. Um, yes, I, we we know that the doctors have said that he may never walk again. Um, but of course, um, that's something that we all hope is wrong, and with God's help, we'll definitely be praying for him. Um, now, it, we have heard a lot about his accident, uh, but nobody has really come down, come out and said exactly what happened. Uh, to your knowledge, can you please tell us uh, what happened? Well, um, he uh, lost control of his motorcycle. He was in, in Atlanta to attend a uh, wedding. Uh, his brother was getting married that at, next afternoon. So after leaving his brother's one brother's house, going to another brother's house, he um, uh, lost control of his motorcycle. And losing control of his motorcycle, he was um, headed to a, a concrete wall, having to try to keep his motorcycle in the road and avoid in the oncoming car. He took to the side of the um, uh, to the to the terrain, in an embankment, went up, separated himself from the motorcycle. He went up in there about 65 feet. The motorcycle went one way, he went another way. But he went about airborne for about 100 feet. And then he hit the um, ground on his back. And when he hit the ground on his back, that's when he severed his spinal cord. You know, um, as a fighter, you, we know that he he made uh, some money. But th- did he have some sort of insurance to cover anything that uh, would happen to him outside the ring? We know that yes, some he's boxes. Fine. He's, he's, he's fine in that area. He's fine in that area, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, so it's, it's not that he didn't need of anything. Yeah, he's fine. Um, again. Um, also, uh, Mr. Peterson, uh, for all the fans that want to send him some cards or some get well wishes, is there anywhere we can send them or we can actually uh, have an address that we can forward those uh, cards to? Yes, you can send it at um, 3060 Will Rogers Place, Atlanta, Georgia. That's 30316. I know before uh, uh, or after the uh, uh, Williams' last fight against Lara, he mentioned that um, he wanted to fight a couple of times, two, maybe three times. Um, was the Canelo fight 
his last fight, or did he want to go on after that, or or did he want to win? No, that that, 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 would, that would that would that would have been his last his last fight. His last fight, okay. Um, yeah. And and how how was he? How, did he feel like was he happy with this fight? I know that that this was probably obviously was going to be a very uh, good payday for him, but. Uh, you know, was he uh, happy about the fight? Was he motivated about the fight? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Fight of that magnitude. Uh, as, as, as long as he'd been fighting, um, that was a big one for him. I mean, that, that was the top of the uh, – that would have been the biggest biggest fight in the last 10 years. Uh, well, uh, I would like to thank you for, for coming on our show and, and taking the time to give us an update. Uh, you know, we love Paul Williams, uh, w- wish him the best, and, you know, the boxing community is definitely uh, uh, paying attention to any updates that, that uh, um, you know, they're coming out of, from, from him, and, and please uh, keep us keep us informed of any anything that happens. Um, our show is called Noche de Boxeo, um, mm-hmm. and uh, we're, uh, uh, our sister radio station is Leave It in the Ring. Okay, thanks a lot, really appreciate it. Thank you very much, Mr. Peterson. You have yourself a nice evening. When you see Paul, please tell him uh, we're praying for him, and uh, we believe in miracles. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Have a good one. Thank you. Bye-bye. Pues, George, uh, realmente trágico uh, lo que le pasó a Paul Williams. Uh, Le decíamos siempre lo mejor. Y, pues, ¿qué se puede decir? Este uh, es su manager por estar con nosotros esta noche por darnos o, o, la información que uh, los fanáticos del boxeo, fanáticos de Paul Williams nos pidieron. Aquí este, les cumplimos. Y, este pues, ¿qué se puede decir? Solamente este vamos a, a rezar, mandar buenas vibras, lo que se podamos hacer. Y ojalá, pues, pueda volver a caminar Paul Williams. Sí, pues la verdad que fue eh, una noticia muy...